Good morning, everyone. You know, we've been here two months, and this is the third big festival that has happened. <laughs> it surprises me a little bit, but I was thinking, when we first arrived, we had Krishna, then we had Ganesh, now we have the Divine Mother. And um, I always have, you know, I'm too minded about these festivals. Um, on one hand, it amazes me just how much sublime truth these festivals have in them. And the fact that an entire nation kind of comes together to celebrate that. On the other hand, I think about, say, the Navratris, for example, and I think about the story behind it. It's about Durga killing Maheshasur. And I think about the people who celebrate this and I say, wow. These people are celebrating a battle that took place, I don't know how many, eons ago, if at all. The battle didn't even take place on Earth, it took place in the astral world. That's like me celebrating my great, 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 great grandfather's birthday and then, you know, dancing and shouting and getting all excited and somebody asked me, who was your great, 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 great grandfather? And I was like, you know, I don't really know that guy. I, I have no idea who he was, what he did. So I'm celebrating potentially a fictitious event. And even if it isn't an event that's so far removed in time and space but an entire nation comes together to celebrate that it it amazes me i'm always baffled i'm like wow that we would do that is amazing and why we would do that is because there's power in it inherent even though people have no idea what they're doing even if they actually think durga killed mahishasur I don't know what goes through people's mind when these festivals come around. I know most people are hoping that if I somehow appease Durga or the Devi, by the end of these nine days, she should bless me. Itna to given hai. Itna kar do bas. That doesn't matter what you did, why you did it. I won't ask. You just bless me at the end of this. Lakshmi ajay ghar mein bas. And that's sweet, you know, at least, at least we know where our power comes from. You know, that alone is sweet enough. But as I think about these stories, and I wonder, what's its relevance? Why would I celebrate this? And why would it be such a huge thing? How can something have so much power, you know, millenniums after millenniums i mean who knows who knows where these stories come from yugas in the satya yuga who knows where it's coming from but it has so much power that today in a completely ignorant society let's say to these realities almost yet we celebrate it as if this is the best thing that's ever happened in our lives and then i wonder what is the relevance of such a celebration. The story, most of you may know, is there's this Asura. What's his name? Maheshasur. What does he do? Tapasya. <laughs> this is a standard format. Does Tapasya? Who appears to him? Brahma. What does Brahma do? Doesn't think about it. Gives him immense power. Immense power. What does Maheshasar do with that power? Misuses it, takes over, <laughs> takes over the three worlds. Nark, Swarg, Prithvi, all under his fear. What do the Devas do? <laughs> Go to Brahma. Brahma says, I can't do anything. I have power 
ब्रह्मा गोज टू विष्णु विष्णु भी कुछ नहीं कर सकता है विष्णु गोज टू शिवा विद ब्रह्मा ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम स्क्रैचिंग देयर हेड्स वंडरिंग या हाउ डिड वी एंड अप इन दिस पोजीशन इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस नो बडी वॉन्ट्स टू से इट्स ब्रह्मा इज फॉल्ट बट यू नो एवरी वन थिंकिंग इट बट दे कैन डू एनी थिंग सो वट डू दे डू they combine their power and they create durga durga battles maheshwar for nine nights nav ratri and at the end kills him yes chalo party <laughs> what's going on over here <laughs> you know on the notice board outside we have the word what's going on here and you have to ask yourself what's going on here what's up with mahesha sir who are these people why are they battling and again in meditation as usual i think master what's going on here share with me what's the purpose and it came to me and here i'm going to hijack ayush's topic for the level 2 class which will be followed is that as usual we i think on a mental level understand that the devas and the asuras are qualities within ourselves just like the pandavas and the kauravas master told us very clearly what the battle of kurukshetra was about and again if you go to a macrocosm you've got the devas and the asuras and again upward flowing qualities downward flowing qualities divinely aspiring qualities limit embracing qualities do we have them in us do you guys have asuras yes okay <laughs> good we're all together then now you have one asura and he starts putting out energy he is a quality within you that is being fed daily what happens when a action a thought pattern begins to be fed daily what does he become strong a habit he becomes a habit once something becomes a habit cannot be destroyed <laughs> he becomes all powerful let's think about smoking anybody smoke here ah good wow that's a good try i used to smoke when i was in college pehle i used to smoke because cool hai yaar <laughs> it's cool it's a cool thing to do abhi ghar se nikle hain we have all this freedom we have to do something with this freedom so theek hai let's smoke friends are doing it everyone's doing it So at first I'm just smoking I'm just acting because theek hai I'm not smoking because I need to smoke I mean smoke has no inherent purpose to itself except to kill you <laughs> you know that's its only purpose but here I am smoking daily 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 until it has become a habit and now my entire life revolves around smoking how i can't even go to the bathroom in the morning if i don't smoke your bowel movements get affected can you imagine after i had a meal i have to smoke every 3 4 hours whatever i'm doing i have to drop it and i have to go no matter how important it is i have to go have that smoke so something that i did first just for fun Oh this is nice oh now I'm part of the in crowd now runs my life so little maheshwar has now become habit maheshwar brahma the creative aspect in us has created him into a habit that's how much power he's given him and now brahma vishnu mahesh can't do anything it's moved out of their domain पहले क्या कर सकते थे इफ वी हैडन थॉट दैट वे इफ वी हैडन एक्टेड दैट वे इट वॉज स्टिल इन देयर डोमेन ऑफ क्रिएशन प्रेजर्वेशन डिस्ट्रक्शन इवन शिवा कान डिस्ट्रॉय हिम बिकॉज ही सो स्ट्रॉन्ग नाउ 
and he's wreaking havoc in my consciousness because everything I do now is based on him. So who do they call in their time of need? Durga. Who's Durga? Shakti. Shakti. What is Shakti? Life force. Energy within us. How do I overcome a habit? I begin to redirect the energy that's been feeding that habit in a different direction. I battle with that habit, not by hitting it on the head, but by drawing energy away from it. That's what Durga is doing. She is energy. And it takes her nine days. What does that tell us? Time lagega. Durga is this all powerful, I mean, she's the mother of the universe. If she wanted to kill Mahishasur, you think she had to battle him for five, nine days? No, she would have done. <laughs> Mahishasur would have never existed for all she wanted. But she's battling him nine days. Her nine days means earth years. You know how a day of Brahma is like billions of years. So imagine a day of Durga. Matlab time lagega, lifetimes lagega. <laughs> Itna asaan kaam nahi hai, ek bar habit bana liya toh. That's the crazy part. Once you make it into a habit, now time lagega. Pehle hi rok liya hota, so you would have saved yourself nine incarnations. And that's the power of habit. And that's the power of Durga, Shakti. Yogananda would often say the mother is closer than the father. Now that's on a sentimental level also. But that's on a realistic level. Energy, hamari pakad mein hai. It's closer to us. We can work with it. Shakti ke saath we can work with. Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, thode dur hai. Then we can't work with. We need Ma. To get to Papa. When I was a child, you know, Dad se to dar lagta tha. So everything we wanted, we'd go to our mother. And if my mother wanted to say no to us, she would never say no. She'd say, go ask your father. <laughs> <laughs> Which she knew we will never do. <laughs> so, matlab, case khatam mahi pe. So the mother is close. In fact, all our techniques are Divine Mother techniques. Energization about energy. Kriya about energy. Om technique about vibration. All our techniques are Divine Mother. No wonder Master worship Divine Mother. So we are fit. We are Navratri people. We have the techniques to actually overcome them. Yet we cannot Therefore, I introduce one technique we barely ever use, which is affirmations. Who affirms every day in the morning? Awesome. We wake up and our affirmations are such. I am tired. <laughs> I don't want to go to work. I am a lousy devotee because I cannot meditate for two hours. These are our affirmations. These are our daily thoughts. They will become a habit. They will gain power. They will become Mahishasur. And then you've lost the battle already. Then Durga ke paas jana padega. Then Kriya Yoga seekhna padega. Catch it before that. Now Narayani is unwell, but we never say that at home. We never give it any energy. We never, if I say I'm tired, Narayani will correct me. She'll say, what do you mean you're tired? You have the entire power of the universe flowing through you. How can you be tired? I spoke to a devotee a couple of days ago and she said, you know, I'm not able to do 108 Kriyas. I'm feeling so bad and I just started a new job and it's just so hard. And She's a beautiful mother, an amazing devotee. All she can think of is how useless she is because she can't do 
a certain thing. That's an affirmation. We build that, we build that, we build that until we believe it, until it becomes our reality. I am a lousy devotee. How is that going to serve you? You have to always catch that thought. Don't take it to Brahma. That guy is dangerous. He'll empower that thought and khatam. Catch it at the energy level and redirect it. Get Durga involved before the battle and there will be no need for battle. Affirmations is such a powerful tool. <coughs> Nobody uses it except in the absolutely wrong way by affirming how tired we are, how unhappy we are, how much lack we have, how much more we need. That's all just affirmation after affirmation after affirmation. Let's change that. This Navratri is perfect. Habit se battle karna hai, affirmation karna hai. Those of us who are practicing Kriya and doing our energization, great. But with that, you can't attack individual things. You're just doing it, <laughs> hoping stuff is happening. <laughs> you know, how many of us are doing our Kriya hoping? I hope this is right. <laughs> you know, I hope, I hope kuch ho raha hai. Affirmation mein, at least we have some modicum of control. I can affirm specifically. I can affirm specific things. I know what my weaknesses are and before they become so strong within me, I can attack them already. Do your affirmation for nine nights minimum, like Durga, and see what happens. Paste these words on your mirror when you wake up and you're brushing your teeth. So before you believe that you are a limited being, already realize, I am immortal. I am not the body. I am ageless. I am deathless. These things aren't just words. These are realities that we have to absorb. We have to make our minds fully comprehend them. Otherwise, every year Navratri will come, we will dance, we will sing. And our great, 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 great grandfather would have been very happy with us. But nothing would have broken. We wouldn't have progressed because Maheshasur is still there. In fact, there are many more like him waiting to take the next. Even in the story, remember that other demon, Kali had to keep killing him because no matter how many times he was just next, next, every drop of blood. What is blood? Energy. Every energy given to that another demon. So Kali had to suck all that energy away from him. That's what we are trying to do. Suck all the energy away from these tendencies before they become habits. That's the key here. Identify aspects of your life, thought patterns in your life, break them with affirmations. Do that tomorrow, tonight. Choose one affirmation. We've got a book of affirmations. Make your own affirmation. But do it and do it every day and do it again and do it again. Give energy to that. Let Brahma give a good boon to someone good finally. I mean, we don't see that happening in our scriptures. <laughs> Let him actually say, Bhaj gaye. finally I did the right thing. I empowered the right tendency. Let the devas win for a change. And use this time because this is the energy. This is what's happening right now. This is what Durga wants to do. Use it. All your affirmations will have double, triple, quadruple the power. Believe me. Bring Devi into it. Bring Durga into it. Do these affirmations. Break those habits. They are what are holding us back. Break them. Fight them. Win. Win. Don't settle for anything less.